Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another short but exciting video here at Blue Glow Electronics today. I got a friend up in Raleigh that uh, pinged me a while back. I was looking for some 12BH7s and I just haven't had a lot of time to dig around to it. Um, at any rate, I ran into him at the Ham Fest and he was desperately seeking the whole Ham Fest over for some 12BH7s and uh, couldn't find any and he said he was having a hard time locating any. So pinged him this morning asked him what he needed and he said he needed two matched pairs of them and so I uh, I went digging into my my bins and uh, as you can see here I've got a few 12 BH 7s I don't know uh, probably 100 or two here at any rate I thought I would uh, show you how to um, how to put together uh, you know two match sets of these things um, uh, he's he's running a set of the uh, I think they're the Bob Latino um, I want to say they're the Mono ST 120s or Mono 120s or whatever uh, the big amplifiers. But we're gonna dive in, uh, select some. What I've done so far is I've got the uh, TV7 set up already. If you'll notice here, um, let's see, um, 12 BH7 here. You've got. Um, you got the setting 12 6 uh, filament EV7 6082 for the selectors 29 bias and uh, no shunt and then uh, range C and I pretty much got all that set up here uh, EV7 6082 got it on range C I've got the bias here set on 29 the shunt on 0 and then uh, it tells us here that the uh, the minimum value would be a 30 for triode 1. And if you'll notice, there's two tubes here. you got 12BH7 and 12BH7. Same filament, uh, but then you got a different setting for the second one. So, um, and it'll tell you it's triode 2. So inside of a 12BH7, just like a 12AX7 or 12AU7 or 12AT7, um, lots of tubes have dual triodes. Um, and so you got two tubes inside of one. And we're going to... Um, gonna have to test both sides of these but I'll show you how I go about that I typically start and go through a batch of them on one side and mark them as I'm doing it and once I've got um, you know then a nice set of uh, four or more on, with one side match then I'll flip over and uh, start testing all those to get some with the second uh, second triode here matched you can actually see when I turn it the just the right way here let me lay it down here oh. When I get it turned just the right way, you can see the two halves of the triode there, one on one side and one on the other. As you can see, I'm just going through and testing them and uh, getting values like this one's testing out around 82, um, a little low for what I'm wanting. And um, as I'm getting ones that test new here, um, these are all testing 102, 102, or 104, 102, 102, 101, 101. These are all testing new here, this whole row of tubes. And the ones that are testing a little less than new, I've just been kind of tossing over here on the side and uh, I'm continuing to kind of grind through these. I'm trying to find uh, all um, RCA black plates um, so that they would all be the same type tube here. But as you can see, I'm just going through one side of the tube at a time. And um, I think I'm gonna have to go around over here. I've got a neat little thing hidden on the side of my bench right here, if you can see it. It's a uh, pin straightener. I've got it just mounted here, and you kind of wiggle the uh, wiggle the tube in it a little bit. Straighten the pins right out, and then look, plugs right down in there. We'll let that heat up. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep going through until I get about ten of them here, maybe in the one, you know, the all brand new range, and then from there I'll go through and test the other sides of them and get a matched pair. So. Kind of the goal because there's two sides to these tubes is to get a bunch of um, bunch of them that match really well on one side and then as you flip to the other settings and read the other side of the tube then you kind of select from that and a lot of times if one side's matched the other side ends up being matched as well okay we've got um i got all these that now test um like 101 102 all brand new tubes at this point and we're gonna um, set change the settings so now it's uh Lucy, are you hiding over there? What are you doing? You're being pretty dog this morning. 
<laughs> um, EV2 1037. So EV2 1037. I think we got it too. EV2 1037. I'm about to get that one on so late. Let's see, EV2 1037, same setting, same setting. Okay, now I can start coming back through these tubes and uh, kind of testing them again. Let's see what the other side of the triode tests. And once I get a match set of four, I will uh, I'll box them up here in some new tube boxes and label them and uh, kind of uh, wrap these up. Okay, we've got now finally a matched quad actually. I'll test 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, 102, and 102, 102. So that's, uh, that puts together a nice set of 12BH7s here. I'm going to use my little Dremel tool and um, the wire, the soft wire brush. This is a very soft brush you can see here. I'm going to um, clean all the pins on it. I'm going to get some Windex out and uh, carefully just spray a little on the corner and try to clean up the tubes but keep all the lettering intact that I can and let's get that done and I'll show you okay as you can see here I make my own little handmade labels or um, I print them off on a, uh, a little label printer but they uh, basically say the tube type 12BH7 the brand RCA these are all good black plate tubes um, you know, the date I tested them, and then uh, the GM 102, 102. As you can see, they're all the same. I'm going to put these boxes together and get them ready to ship out. Okay, we're going to call this video a wrap. As you can see here, four nicely labeled um, 12BH7 black plate RCAs all ready to ship out to my friend. I will say that, the, um, you know, this test, uh, tube testers like this just tested a set configuration or a set bias on the tubes. And there's, a, there's kind of another level above that um, where you actually have a curve tracer that would measure the tube all the way from kind of, uh, um, you know, cut off all the way to saturation. And uh, hopefully I'm going to build one of those one day. I don't have one. but uh, And then you could really get into not just matching at a specific point, but all the way through the uh, transconductance range of the tube itself. So that's for another day when I've got time. Anyways, everybody hopefully enjoyed this short little video on how to match um, a pair or a quad of tubes like I've done here. And, um, you know, at this point you could put these on eBay and sell them and um, label them as, um, you know, TV7D slash U tested. Um, or in this case, I'm going to ship them off to a friend of mine. Thanks again and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll keep making them.